Welcome back after the break. Now it's time for our final quick fire round in which any pretense of bonhomie is jettisoned in favour of basic question and answer bullshit. <laughs> it's a nice light way of putting it. Uh, this bit's meant to be serious, so let's have a tension inducing game show sting. Daytime, daytime. <laughs> that is a c ringtone. <laughs> um, That's literally what it says on the library CD, <laughs> probably. Uh, OK, fingers on buzzers, please. Take it seriously. Question one. Which BBC presenter has co-written a jazz swing album called Moonlight's Back in Style? <laughs> I'll give you a clue. He's on radio and television. <laughs> Chris Miles. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, that would be an awful <laughs> fucking record. Uh, he's Scottish. Ken Don't. Bruce? No, he, uh, <laughs> he also, uh, <laughs> no! Who said Ken Bruce? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> uh, he, uh, he, Thanks he's a on... lot. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> When was Ken uh, Bruce presents... last on television? <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he's also on Watchdog. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Ken Bruce! No! The man of the name here is on Watchdog! <laughs> Nicky Campbell. Uh, yes, Grace, the answer is Nicky Campbell. Oh. Yes, Nicky Campbell has an album out. It's not his only record. According to Guinness, he's also the world's biggest asshole, <laughs> And the smuggest prick and the smarmiest tit and the shittiest burke and the sombrest wank and the littlest hobo and the... Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I just don't like the man. It's that simple. <laughs> I hope I don't bump into well. Nicky Campbell now. <laughs> anyway, fingers on buzzers. Here is an exciting moment, because, excitingly, we can now cross over to the genuine Trafalgar Square plinth, where somebody's got a question for you. <gasps> Hello to Charlie, Frank, Josie and Grace. It's Big Brother's 10th anniversary today. There have been nine winners. Two have shared the same first name. What was it? That was uh, beautifully red. Josie. Craig? No. Oh. Brian. Is it Brian? Let's cross to the plinth and see. Indeed, it was Brian. Brian Dowling for Big Brother 2. <laughs> and Brian Bellow from Big Brother 8. You bloody show off, Frank. That's another point to you. <laughs> Let's take a look at Brian Bellow during a recent and typically erudite appearance on Big Brother's <laughs> Big Mouth. Please genuinely look away if you're at all squeamish. Yeah, okay. That's what I am genuinely going to do. Here it is. Hello, my name's Brian Bellow, and if it's good enough for Angel McKenzie to eat a raw egg on TV, then it's good enough for me. Let's give it a bash. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. I genuinely can't watch that. And what's worse, I imagine that's how Little Chef make their ham and cheese omelettes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next question. Channel 4 defended which show against viewer accusations of gratuitous raunch last week? Frank. It's the uh, live model midday thing with naked people who you draw. Yes, the show was Life Class, a 30-minute life drawing class which aired every lunchtime, presenting a model in a variety of poses for the viewers to draw. Let's take a look as artist Humphrey Ocean helps the viewers draw his model. If you get those kind of little mathematical things going on in your brain, sizzling along in your brain, it frees you up and it means that instead of starting to become all <laughs> pent up and... <laughs> tight and anal with your pencil, you can flow a bit. You can actually begin to enjoy the fact that you're drawing a breast, you're drawing a stomach, you're drawing a navel, you're drawing a soft thing. Yes, lots of very interesting art tips there, but Channel 4's been criticised for that. The thing that upset me wasn't the naked woman in the foreground, but that I could see a bloke standing behind her masturbating. <laughs> Utterly unacceptable. I was about to phone and complain until I realised it was just my reflection. <laughs> <laughs> it 
which of course made me realise I'd been completely wrong to lodge a complaint about that documentary where they chopped up a whale. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> Come on, back. Next question. Right. Serious face. <laughs> Mylene Class recently finished presenting what show in America? Oh, Grace. I'm a celebrity. Uh, that's correct. It was oh. the American version of I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Well done. I was totally wrong. Amazing. I didn't know that. Let's oh, take I a look. Remember. Let's take a look at a moving highlight from the series. This is Lou Diamond Phillips <laughs> with Sanjaya, a former American Idol contestant. Please remember this is just four days into their time in the jungle together. My favorite thing about you, Lou, is um, you really, like, you are my representation of, like, the, like, perfect father figure. And, um, like, my father's always really been strong in my life, but he never really knew how to be a father figure because he never had one. So being able to be here and have that has been really great for me. I'm really glad. I love you deeply, young man. Love you so much. Thank you. I'm gonna teach you how to throw a ball. All right. <laughs> yes. Lou Diamond Phillips there, who actually thinks he's filming Young Guns 3. <laughs> end of the show! <laughs> end of the show! <laughs> yes, at the end of the show, I can reveal that in last place, it's Josie Long. In second place, Grace Dent and our victor, Frank Skinner. <laughs> well done, Frank. What a hollow victory. Don't forget Why is the it a hollow victory? <laughs> <laughs> because the points are meaningless. It's the, the no quiz point. is just bolted on. It's the no <laughs> point. Sorry? There's not a prize. No, there's nothing. You get nothing. You go home with nothing. You can have my notebook. Dick, <laughs> 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 you fucking <know. laughs> Okay. Don't forget to visit our website to get more information on the shows we'll be talking about next week, including our TV club pick, Inside Nature's Giants. Thanks for watching. Now go away. <laughs>Well, please do keep your TV club reviews and comments coming in. To find out how you can get involved, visit channel4.com slash watching. And plenty of fodder for next week's show, The Inbetweeners, next.